Good morning, everybody. We're out here pouring another big house floor this morning. It's real windy today. Blowing this poly all over the place. Kind of a mess. But right, we're going to make it work. First truck showed up. They all mixed up. Got very limited access today. So we're going to have to use a 16 foot chute. Good thing we got high range water reducer so we can pour. Here, can you grab that end, move it over a little bit? Nice loose slump today. You got about seven? You got about seven? Take them out there, yeah, maybe six and three quarters. Don't water it, don't water it. Hold it on. Can't keep the poly in place with all the wind blowing. Wind's supposed to die down a little bit as the day goes on. Just... A little bit more, Ted. You got fly ash? So you don't you don't even have it, do you? No. Huh? I don't know. I get involved. I don't know. I don't know nothing. I drive. I drive to whatever direction sent me, even though they're wrong. Ready? Yes, sir. Come yes, sir. On. Hey, it's me. Just checking. Hey, there's all kinds of black shit in this. That's typically been like flag. You don't put flag in this, do you? Well, it's often black. I don't know where it is. Do you want to send Mark out or whatever? Something's in, something's in it that's not normal. All right, do we want to go one more? Or? Yeah, let's go one more. Okay. We can always get one. See ya. How much gear is it? I got mine. He just, he just said it was flag. He just called. I'm gonna grab the laser, check a couple spots. So basically what slag is, is it's a byproduct from the steel making industry and it's made when iron ore is melted, the iron part sinks to the bottom and the slag stuff will float to the top and then they just separate it and they grind it into a really fine, fine dust. It's actually finer than Portland cement. And then the cement companies, the concrete companies like this one here, we're using, use it to replace some of the cement in the in the concrete so they'll take out some portland cement and add this slag because it's a lot less expensive we never ask for it in our floors i don't like it um it slows down the sets time considerably so you know when it's 40 degrees out in the morning and you're pouring a floor you don't want to slow the set time down you want to actually speed it up so that's why we never ask for slag we don't like slag 
I didn't ask for it in this load. Somehow it got put in there by mistake. And we'll just have to deal with it today. But we're going to get it fixed. We move everything your way. Yeah. Go back this way. Yeah. Unlock it. Oh, stay there for a minute, Luke. We could flip this up and do the same thing you just did. Or oh, hang it, yeah. Or oh, hang it. Goodbye, there. Okay, Brian. Yeah. Now I'm going to check it again and then I'll just call. Yeah, those weren't, those were perfect. I don't think we're too, too high unless we are up in that corner. Thank you, Brian. Thank you. Bye-bye. Have a Say hi to Joe for us. Yeah, I will. Tell him we're wicked happy. Okay, I'm going to find a place to wash out where I won't be in the way of another truck has How about right over by that nice white truck right there? there? Yeah. <laughs> right over there would be good, bud. Under the tailgate or just on the side? No, right up by the hood would be all right. Okay, right over the windshield? Yeah. Okay, buddy. Thank you. Hey Joe, Smite. Five more. Five more should finish it. Alright, thanks. Go right. You gonna back him in the front? I think we'll back him right here, Brian. Okay, I'll stand there. Yeah, one truck down. We got another ten on the way, then I just told him five more. The grade was really bad, so we kind of had to get this first truck dumped out, see how far it would go. Getting a couple bags of cow, we'll throw in you. What order do you want it, or how much do you want it? Six, six and a half. Yeah. You're not from Monmouth, right? Where are you driving? Thank you, Okay.
Now let's see what it looks like. Here we go, 10 more. Yeah. Just fill that corner. How are you doing this morning? Good. <laughs> what do you want? Empty him or just pull it down? You guys good now? I think we're pretty good. Just strike these and they'll see. I don't know, ain't too bad, is it? I think we're pretty good. If you go a little more, I'll see if he runs out. You can finish that edge here if you want. A little bit, please. Take a little bit. Drop it down. You flip that loose for me. Lock it. See any black in it? No. There, right there, Luke. We'll get this. There, right there. We're all set. You okay, Dan? In there, Tia. We're gonna come up in there, okay? I'll put that other handle back on. Hi there.
All right, so the third truck showed up. This should finish this. It is the front dump. We don't usually get front dumps out of this concrete plant, so I don't know where he came from. I guess the important thing is we just have enough concrete to finish. Well, good so far. This thing is about 60 by 36. Plus that little jog over there, so it's a good size house. We call this a walkout basement so they can walk right out this wall right here. There'll be five more. Five more. Shut that strobe light off for a minute. Thank you. Alright, Yeah, we'll have to just strike it. We're a little higher. We could mag it close and then strike it. Pretty close. Coming, I got it. Out oh, where you picked oh, up yeah. the buffalo. Oh, yeah. A little bit more. Oh, yeah. We'll try that. Good day. Turn it. Whatever you guys want to do. Good. Yep. You can wash up down here. You got two hoses or one? Yep, two. I got one up here okay. and one down there. Yeah, that's 25 yards, about 2,200 square feet, and now it's about 8, 8.15 in the morning, started at 7. Now it'll be, there's quite a bit of bleed water down there because of that plastic, but it'll be a couple hours anyway before we got to worry about finishing this, putting power trials on it. But it'll dry up, it's supposed to be 70 today and sunny. That's it on this one, guys. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you on the next one.